practice, we are going to use triangle congruence and its corresponding angles to find the missing value x. Okay, I colored x red. We can see x is here, x is here. Let's look at the first practice. We're going to separate the page. Okay, 90 degree, 90 degree here, which means measure of angle B and um, measure of angle E, they're the same, both of them 90 degrees. We're just practicing writing the corresponding angles now. And look at here has one curve, here has one curve, means measure of angle C equals measure of angle D, both of them are 65 degrees. Let's go back to the first triangle A, B, C. Did you remember in the practice we mentioned in any right triangle, the two acute angles always complementary. So this is 65, this one must be 25. 90 subtract 65 is 25. All right, and another rule called a third angle theorem said in two triangles, if you already have the first pair congruent, which is B and E, and the second pair congruent, which is C and D, guess what? The third pair must be congruent. Therefore, we confidently write down measure of angle A definitely has the same measure of angle F. Measure of angle F is also, says what? Says I'm X. Therefore, we just find A is 25 and x is 25. That's it. All right, let's look at the next one. Remember, we're using triangle congruent, and we'll also use the corresponding angles that are congruent, okay? All right, so say one curve, one curve, which means measure of angle B equals measure of angle D, that is 60 degrees. And remember, you don't have to go through all these details. I'm going through all these details with you is because I want to do a quick review. Make sure you get everything down, previous knowledge, everything's down mastered. Okay, let's look at these two curves and two curves, which means measure of angle C is measure of angle E, that is 70 degrees. Okay, all right, uh, let's look at Oh, F, F must be congruent with A then. Again, once again, this is a third angle theorem, which means these two triangles, if two triangles, we have first pair congruent, second pair congruent, that means the third pair definitely congruent. Okay, all right, which means measure of angle A, equals measure of angle F. Angle F says I'm 2x. Therefore, measure of angle A is 2x. Now, let's go back here. In the triangle, three family members, they can only spend how much money? 180 degrees. So one spend 80, one spend 60, one spend 30. That's already that's already 130, right? So the remaining degree gonna be 50, which means this is 50. Now, if 2x is 50, what is x? x is 25. All done. Happy learning.